That's right, Darla and Dalfred. We're just a few feet away from you right now. We made it deeper into downtown Jennings, but we can still hear the music going out there at Founders Park for Turn It Up Tuesday. Now, I am standing right outside of W.H. Tupper General Store and Museum, and I'm told the good thing about being located in this area is that whenever there is an event, a festival, it creates foot traffic, allowing tourists, park goers, uh, shoppers to come and visit the local businesses in the area. And I'm told if you have not heard about this museum, you've either visited it or if you're a tourist, it's something you don't want to miss. You can just tell by the quality of the things here, how long it lasted. The historic downtown district in Jennings is home to numerous businesses and historic landmarks. The W.H. Tupper General Store Museum, located in the heart of the downtown district, attracts tourists, students, and locals since its opening in 1991. We were in the middle of redoing our downtown area, and Joe Tupper, who is the grandson of the man that owned all of these wonderful items, he came to the mayor and said, I have a warehouse that's full of old things from my grandfather's old general store, and I need something to do with it. And of course, Greg Morcantel was the mayor back then, and he ran with it. The museum showcases antique items that were once sold in general stores from past eras. From tools, um, food, clothes, anything that you would probably find at the store, the grocery store today, or a hardware store. Although the items are not for sale, Gary mentions visitors of all ages leave the museum with a profound sense of connection to the past. It, it's an anchor for people. It just brings back so many memories for people. They, they have a history there. And then you have all these other cute little shops and antique shops, and we have a gym next door and a bakery. This is definitely an historic landmark, and I'm told since 1991 it has weathered the storm, being anchored right here in downtown Jennings. And Gary tells me it's because of the people who visit the museum. The reason that's why it's standing. Live in Jennings, Danielle Duncan, KLFY News 10.